end of times. This is the end of times uh, rapture dream that I had. And it was due to a tornado that was coming into California. And, um, special, yeah. Sorry, it's a cat. Um, basically, the setting was started with me at a high school. A high school that I graduated. Oh my gosh, this cat's getting annoying. Hey, go over there. Go. Go. No biting. Stop. Down. 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 Go. Go. Anyway, this took a setting, to start off a setting at a high school that I graduated at. It was just like 17 years ago. I got my diploma there. And um, at this place, this high school, everything was fine. It was kind of like a setting, like me going back to high school. Everyone, you know, was talking, hanging out, eating, eating lunch, going to the cafeteria, you know, whether they're wanting to do uh, gymnastics in the quad, the pep squad, doing, uh, having choir rehearsals in the classrooms or, you know, uh, science or history in the other rooms as well, computer uh, technology uh, networking and and a lot of different socializing, etc. Um, just that was the setting that took place here, and I remember standing on top of the the pl there's like a planter where I used to like backflip off when I was a child, or not a child, when I was in high school. I'd stand on the planter and, you know, get ready for my set, jump away, pull up, over, tuck, bring my knees to my chest, and grab. And as well as you know, if you've seen my previous videos, Rise All Day Boy, my other videos, my old videos, I have I recently did do a standing back tuck. Still can do it. Did a back handstand on concrete. It was a request from a subscriber that I did. You can go back and look at that if you want. Just go way back in my videos and you'll find it. Anyway, um, but that is the setting that took place. I still have to upload that on here anyway. But that was the setting that took place. Um, and on the planter, I, all, I, all I remember was looking up at the sky and seeing clouds that were like starting to form something. Transformation. Out of nowhere, you hear lightning, you hear thunder, the, the, and then the sky just completely turns green. If you ever seen the setting for a tornado, you know that the whole sky turns completely dark and then it starts to turn green because of all the chemicals and everything in the sky and, and in the power from the thunderstorms, building up some kind of electricity, building up some kind of static to start a really big... Uh, uh, vortex in the in the air, right? So, I just remember looking up at the sky and I see funnel clouds starting to form in a vortex. So it's like they're just going like this, and then you just start seeing it going like this, and you see these clouds starting to form into this funnel cloud where it starts to turn something like this, and then it goes like this. And then it like gets like this and it starts to go on like this and it's like turning like this. And then before you know it, you just start to see this vortex and it sounds like a loud train, like a really, really loud train. If you ever heard like a loud train by your ear, you know how loud it sounds. That was the sound that the loud train, that the, that the vortex was starting to make for the tornado. You knew there was a tornado coming and then on every single station at the school, every single station throughout California was saying, tornado warning, get out now. So you just start to see a, touch, a tornado touch down like this. And then all of a sudden, boom! And then all, just, just the wind picks up so freaking fast that if you were to move a certain way, it'd pick you up in the air and throw you and you're dead, like in a second. So I'm, I'm here, I get in my Ferrari car, and I'm like, oh crap, it's a tornado. 
I run from the school, I hop over the planner, I get in my car, and then I book it. I book it and I speed off as quick as I can to try to get to where my house is, you know, or some, you know, someone close that I stayed to, right? And then all of a sudden, I end up at my girl at my girlfriend's house. And then I all I remember in this rapture gene was seeing uh, the tornado touch down and it starts seeing you just see people getting picked up. It's picking people up, it's throwing people, it's sucking people in the vortex, and then just going like, oh, you hear people screaming, you hear people crying, all this stuff going on, and then I'm just up looking at the sky like this, and then I just, just hear like the boom, boom, like the shaking for the tornado, right? And it was really intense, because I was so scared, and it was like the gravity was pulling my feet off of the ground, because it was so strong. It was so strong, the wind, the current was so strong, it was going in one direction, going upward, where it was like easily picking you up like a magnet. So if you're like a magnet, you know when a magnet picks something up, it picks it up in a second. That's how powerful this tornado was. So I'm looking up, and all of a sudden, the tornado's picking everything up, and I'm like, my, my leg is like hanging in the air like this. And I'm holding on as tight as I can so I don't die. And then as I'm looking down, I look up, and then I see the sky green completely. And then I look up and I see Jesus walking across the sky. And as he's walking across the sky, you see end of times in the sky. And then Jesus is just walking in the sky. And everywhere he's walking, the, the people that are under him, they disappear like quickly. And then you see like the spirits and the souls move so quickly. Like it's like the souls shoot up in the sky like this. Like a quick electric shock, right? Really quickly, right? So this is what I see. And then as Jesus is walking over the sky over people, you see the people that go to heaven. And then the people that he walks over, the people that weren't going to heaven, you see him go down to hell. And like literally you see him go down in the fire, in the hell. So it was just crazy, right? And as I'm seeing this and I'm trying to wrap my mind around what's going on, it was really horrifying because this tornado was so big you know it was so big and and the the worst the worst feeling in the world is to know that you're gonna get killed by a vortex that has so much power that can rip you in two in a second right so i just remember taking off and running running kicking down the door making my way through the room and then a bunch of other people were with me like okay we gotta get out of here we're all making a run for it my car wouldn't start and I'm just like running I'm just running with all my heart and all my might to get away from this but the tornado's too fast and it'll be stupid but you know you can't outrun a tornado because it's one of the fastest moving objects in the world right known to man it's by nature it's the fastest destructional uh, conviction current you can't get around it's just, it's just supernatural you can't get past it so before we all knew it, my friends were getting wrapped up in the air and thrown. And then the next thing I know, as, as the tornado's getting close to me and I'm about to die, the Lord walks right over my head. And then all, of, all, all I remember is just looking up, being still, and then just shooting upward really fast. Like the speed of like, and then when I look up, I was with the Lord. Um, as I look down, I just see end of times. And then I see the coronavirus. So in this rapture dream, the coronavirus took place too. People were dying by the coronavirus. People were dying by the tornado. People were dying by getting sick. People were dying by committing suicide. People were dying by all different ways and it was just chaos. But like I said, going back to this rapture dream, it's just nuts, man. It's just, it's coming to the time. We gotta wake up, we gotta see what's really going on. So, I hope this rapture dream uh, really opens some people's eyes, some of my fans' eyes, subscribers. Let them, you know, let people know what's going on. Um, I haven't really been seeing any activity on my Patreon, so I don't know what that's about. 
I, like I said, if you guys support me, you'll come and support. You'll you'll become a Patreon. Lately, I've been doing some art. Um, I did this, which is like a fountain. I drew. Uh, pretty recent. Let me bring up the brightness because you can't see anything on this. Thing. So I drew this, and uh, it's like a fountain. And then I painted this. Now, this is one of my by far favorite paintings. So I worked so hard on it. Uh, but you can see I uh, put a lot of effort, time into this. So I'm doing a lot of new, different, interesting things. If you guys would like to buy my artwork or paintings or something, I'm forming a Patreon for my art. Um, so if you guys would like to support me in what I'm doing and what I'm doing with my girlfriend as well, feel free to. Remember, if you're the Possibility Pro, if you're doing a no damage run, take it seriously. Don't mess around with a time patient to focus. You shall succeed. I am finishing the DMC uh, uh, no damage run game uh, run. I'm trying to do that. Give me time because it's extremely hard. I just got it on the on the piece on the PlayStation 4 here, but I just want to let you know I'm trying really hard. I'm doing what I can to make things better, and I got a lot of other interesting videos as well, talking about depression, talking about what God wants. I'm also going to be doing some ministry on here, so if you guys want to look more into that, feel free. Uh, just subscribe, turn on those notifications. I love you and take care.